Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Mods. Welcome to Wacky Worms. One of my absolute favorite butterflies of South Florida, it's the Malachite. Stunning bug. You're gonna love this video. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. That would help us tremendously. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications so we can get you more videos like these. Guys, the Malachite is a stunner. Check this out. No words can describe the feeling I had when I was 11 year old butterfly enthusiast and I saw my first malachite floating through an understory of a hammock in South Florida. I remember that day like it was yesterday. It's this absolutely stunning butterfly, not very easy to find, uh, but you can find them if you know how to look for them. With a three to four inch wingspan, a large, bright emerald green butterfly, there is no other butterfly in South Florida that could ever be confused uh, with the Malachite. It's an absolute stunner. There's not many green butterflies out there, guys, and this green is a deep emerald green, beautiful bug. So it's a brown butterfly with big green spots on it, and it's actually quite large butterfly. The hind wing actually has a neat shape. It's got a few little tails on it and everything. So it's just a really, really beautiful butterfly. Sexes are very, very similar, but there is one way to tell them apart. Uh, the females, if you actually look very carefully at the tip of the abdomen, have some orange scaling near the tip of the abdomen. Uh, this signifies where the ovipositor is, the, the organ in which, with which they lay eggs. Males don't have that organ, obviously, and they lack those orange scales. That's actually the best way to tell male and female malachites apart. The malachite butterfly, Ciproeta stellinis biplagiata, a subspecies that lives only in South Florida and Cuba. Uh, there's other subspecies that are very common in the rest of the Caribbean and then in Central and South America can be a very common butterfly throughout the American tropics. But in South Florida, Biplagiata is our subspecies and we love it. We have found this butterfly in South Florida in Palm Beach, Broward, Dade, and Monroe counties. We found them on a number of the Florida Keys, uh, Key Largo, we found them on uh, Big Pine Key, no Name Key and Bahia Honda before uh, and, and down in Stock Island and Key West as well. As far as habitat goes, this species is a hammock butterfly, but it also loves disturbed areas. So any, any shady area, they love uh, like old abandoned tree farms. So Miami-Dade has a whole bunch of old like avocado groves or mango orchards or even citrus farms uh, where the understory has grown up. There's its host plant, black and brownie eye, the green shrimp plant, uh, will grow uh, very commonly in those areas and that seems to be the best place to find the malachite butterfly in South Florida. Both sexes will patrol hammock edges. Uh, they love coming to rotting fruit. Um, rotting bananas and apples are a great way to attract uh, malachite butterflies, but they also go to flowers. They love alkaloid-based flowers. Uh, they'll go to Bidens or uh, Cordia glabrosa, certain things like that, and um, they can go to those flowers. But most of the time, you'll just see them floating around and they'll perch uh, in the understory in a shady area, uh, understory of a hammock. The eggs are laid singly on the very new leaves of the Blecken plant. They're dome-shaped olive green eggs with ridges on them, uh, pretty tiny, like I said. Caterpillars, when they hatch out, they're black and they have a whole bunch of branching spines that cover the entire body and the head capsule is black and has these big black branching scoli up on the top. Very impressive, very uh, intimidating looking caterpillar. It, may, it might look like it's gonna sting you if you touch it, but actually the uh, spines don't uh, are not urticating. They don't sting if you touch them. So you can actually hand a, handle a caterpillar of a malachite butterfly and not worry about it. As the caterpillar gets older, the spines will get orange. So you have a black, velvet black caterpillar with orange branching spines. Very cool bug. When they pupate, it's a, it's a green colored chrysalis and they hang upside down from a silk pad. And actually pretty cool, it's like an armored 
pupa, they've got these, these little gold spikes that hang out off the pupa and actually are really sharp. And if you pick one up, uh, those spikes will actually puncture your, your fingers. They're very sharp uh, little spikes, pretty cool bug. Through and through, the malachite is a beautiful and interesting creature. Our experience with this butterfly in South Florida is that it's pretty rare. In fact, it's actually an exotic that has established here along with its exotic host plant, Bleckham brownii, that's, that's an exotic as well. And it's actually a weed that grows in, in the grasses in most people's uh, properties in their, in their front yard. People, most people try to get rid of the host plant as it's growing as a weed in their yard. But the, like I said, the best place to find malachites are in old abandoned tree farms and palm tree farms and orchards where the host plant is left to grow. Uh, but guys, it's actually a really easy butterfly to raise if you want to raise them in captivity. If you get a female, uh, put her in a, an enclosure with some Bleckham brownie eye, a green, green shrimp plant, she'll a, lay a ton of eggs and the caterpillars are very hardy. So as long as you're putting food on, you can just can continue to dump food on top of them. They'll, they'll just eat their way up. They're very hardy, very disease resistant, and they're a great butterfly. They fly wonderfully in captivity. It's a fantastic butterfly to raise uh, and love the malachites. But guys, that's about all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, I hope you did, give us a thumbs up. And that helps us out tremendously, and we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We have a great website. It's www.keysmods.com. On that website, we've got all 593 mods of the Florida Keys documented, plus 100 species of butterflies that have been found in the Florida Keys, all for your viewing pleasure. We've got plenty of information there. You will not be disappointed. But guys, I hope to see you again soon. Check out our next video coming up in just a few days. Until then, hope, hope you get out there and enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there.